What is up, guys? It's Super Ken from Super Ken Gaming from the channel. Please subscribe, leave a comment saying hi, thumbs up, if you like the video already, share this video with friends. Welcome to the drop for the week of May 9th, 2017. The drop is a weekly series where we go over every single game coming to PlayStation. We crown the game of the week, the game I feel is most deserving of your cash moolah. The comment of the week, we give away some free games to developers and publishers. If you have any games that you want to give me to give away to this wonderful and beautiful audience, send them this way. And I'll give them away. We've got 18 games to go over this week. Every single game I'm about to go over comes out on May 9th, unless stated otherwise. And out of 18 games, there's, there's not too much. There's not too much impressive going on this week. First, coming to PlayStation 4 Digital on May 11th is ACA Neo Geo: The King of Fighters 95. The King of Fighters 95 is a fighting game released by SNK in 1995. In addition to fan favorite fighters from Fatal Fury. In the art of fighting. Yaga Mien joins the battle as the rival of main character Kaio Kusanagi. No thank you. Neo Geo. Neo Geo, I, I don't want to look for your gameplay every every single week, Neo Geo. Just stop. Don't want your Neo Geo games. Maybe, maybe I don't know how well these Neo Geo games sell. I, I mean, they, they have to be selling if they're going to release one every single week. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Neo Geo, but... Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital and Retail on May 9th is a game I already reviewed. My review is up on my channel, so go check it out. Birthday's The Beginning. From legendary creator Mr. Yasuhiro Wada comes Birthday's The Beginning, a sandbox game where you shape the world and give rise to diverse and unique life forms. Experiment as you please and witness the birth of an entire ecosystem. This game is its kind of like taking care of an aquarium. And you start from scratch and try to give give life to the world. It, it's it's a neat game. I wouldn't necessarily call this game fun. I I I, I enjoyed my time with it. I didn't have fun with it though. I, w I wasn't having fun by any stretch of the imagination. But I, I was definitely enjoying my time with this game, trying to go after new species and such. Though the, the tutorial, the tutorial, the game the game makes itself seem way too confusing way more complicated than it actually is and i have no idea why but it's not as complicated as it seems and i th i think the game is going to i think the game is going to suffer because of that i don't think players are going to re receive it well because of how the game is delivered and they're, they're just not going to give it a chance beyond the first hour or so because of how poorly this game is actually delivered but we'll see how birthdays the beginning does also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is Blades and Bones. I did put in a request for this game. I hope that I hear about it back. A combat-driven Metroidvania experience. Discover a tale long lost in our past. Seven swords need to be found in the world where you will discover ancient secrets and fight with an intense combat system that rewards the player for their skills and knowledge. This game doesn't look great, but it looks fun enough that I would enjoy reviewing it, so I put in a request. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is Bloons TD5. Five-star tower defense with unrivaled depth and replayability. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. The Bloons are back, and this time they mean business. Build awesome towers, choose your favorite upgrades, hire cool new special agents, and pop every last invading balloon. Mobile garbage, no thank you. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is Butcher. Butcher is a fast-paced 2D shooter and love letter to the cult classics of the genre. As a cyborg programmed to eradicate the last remnants of humanity, your sole purpose is to annihilate anything that moves. No thank you. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital on May 12th is another game I will be reviewing. I'm, I'm about 99% sure I'll get a code for this game is Demon's Crystals. This game actually looks decently fun. Nicole, Demon's Crystals is a frantic twin stick shooter where you guide the Yurikin demons to the countless hazards in order to restore peace to the world. The Yurikin have always been at the top of the food pyramid, but one day three mysterious beings arrived, causing the once peaceful inhabitants of the world to become aggressive and destructive. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is another game that looks cool and I put in a request for, but this one I have no idea if I'll hear back, is Elliot Quest. Elliot can't die, but he's still running out of time. 
In Elliot Quest, the victim of a rare curse must find a cure before he's transformed into a demon. The story kind of sounds like that uh, Wonder Boy Dragon's Trap game. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is Harvest Moon Save the Homeland. Your goal is to successfully save your family's farm and the surrounding village from being turned into a resort. Constructions begins in a year. So you have your work cut out for you. But don't worry, if you earn the friendship and trust of the villagers, they will be sure to lend a helping hand. How sweet. I've never played a Harvest Moon game. This game's like 35 hours to beat and it has like only a 75 on Metacritic. I don't really want to go back and play PlayStation 2 games unless that I missed unless they're like 80 and above. So sorry Harvest Moon, but I'm a, I'm a pass. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is another game I put in request for is Human Fall Flat. Human Fall Flat is a quirky open world, not open world, not open world, open ended physics based puzzle and exploration game set in floating dreamscapes. Your goal is to escape these surreal dreams by solving puzzles with nothing but your wits and physics. The publisher of this game likes me, they seem to like me, they've never turned me down before, so look out for a human fall flat. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is Last Stitch Goodnight. I'd, pro I'd probably try to review this game if there, if my hands weren't full with for the week as it is, because this, this game doesn't look good at all, but it, look, it looks playable. It looks like I would enjoy maybe a little bit playing this game. After surviving a near-death out-of-body experience, you're kidnapped by a doctor who's experimenting on people who satisfy certain criteria. Escaping the doctor's laboratory will require new weapons, new powers, and a strong stomach for facing science gone bad. It, 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 looks, it looks passably playable. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is Lethal League. Lethal League is a competitive projectile fighting game where you have to hit an anti-gravity ball into the face of your opponent's win. The ball speeds up with every strike up to explosively extreme velocities. Play locally or battle it out online. No, thank you. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is another game I put in a request for, Loco Roco Remastered. I probably won't hear back for this one though. The peaceful world of Loco Roco are under attack by the not so nights. Moja Corps. These evil outer space creatures have come to take the Loco Roco from the land of blowing flowers, lively creatures, and pastel scenery. You must move the Loco Roco through more than 40 levels of slippery slopes, teeter teetering platforms, and maze like passages. Also, coming to PlayStation VR Digital is Moonshot Galaxy. Moonshot Galaxy is a VR game like no other. Play your way through planetary challenges and exotic branches of the galaxy at your own pace. Designed for comfort, anyone can pick it up and play. Though reaching the top of the leaderboards will put your skills to the test. Also, I don't have a PlayStation VR. Sh Shuhei Yoshida sent me a VR. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is NBA Playgrounds. I will be reviewing this game. I'm, I'm already in touch for this one. Classic NBA arcade action is back. Take your A-game to the playground and beat the best in high-flying two-on-two basketball action. Practice your skills offline, play with up to three players on your PlayStation 4, or take your talents online to posturize your opponents. Posturize? That, does, that doesn't sound like it, it would be a thing, but I guess it's the thing. Posturize your opponents with acrobatic jams and ridiculous display of skill. I was a huge fan of the NBA Street games, and I really haven't played, played slash enjoyed a basketball game since. Probably, I, I didn't really like V3, but NBA Street Volume Two, shout out to that. And I hope I hope NBA Playgrounds brings that feel back. Also coming to PlayStation VR Digital is Polybius or Polybius? I don't know. Well, whatever it's called, it's the latest trans shooter from the creators of the. Tempest 2000 and TKX, TK, TXK, Lamasov. All right, get your get your llama on. This, that game looks trippy, but no PSVR for me. Also coming to the PlayStation 4 Digital is Resident Evil Code Veronica X. This is a PlayStation 2 game, like Harvest Moon. Raccoon City was just the beginning. Claire and Chris Redfield's 
nightmare continues as the siblings fight to survive against zombies and other monstrosities with Umbrella's deadly facilities to explore the mysterious rock fort island facility and the freezing arctic base for the clues exposing the umbrella corporation's sordid goals and the truth behind the mysterious and unsettling ashford twins no thank you also come to playstation 4 playstation 3 and playstation vita digital as a revenant saga become a revenant and find the truth beyond revenge in this gothic fantasy rpg with stunning 3D battles. After being turned into an immortal being known as Revenant and learning of the existence of a demon within him, Albert sets out on a journey to make the person who did this to him pay with their very life. And finally, coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is Strafe. By the way, no thank you, not touching, touching Revenant's saga. Strafe is a roguelike first-person shooter pushing the limits of computer-generated... Don't freak out, Super Ken from Super Ken Gaming. Computer-generated photorealism and hardcore sci-fi action into unimaginable territory. This game looks really cool. I got an email. I got an email to cover this game, to review this game. And I was like, all right, let me check out your game. Let me check out your game. I'm watching the trailer. This game looks really cool. This game looks really cool. And I see a quote about procedural generation. Stop with this lazy garbage. I do not want to play lazy computer made trash. All right. I don't want to play computer made trash. If you if you don't if you don't want to put the care in the level design, if you're not going to put the care or the time, if you don't want to hire somebody to put the care or time in the level design, I don't want to play your garbage you can take your procedural generation nonsense and shove it straight on a pc somewhere where we're nerds where nerds play solitaire all right we don't play solitaire on playstation 4 we play real games with real level design all right if you ain't minecraft you can you, you can take your procedural generation somewhere else procedural generation needs to die it, it needs it needs to be it needs to quit being a bullet point of you should buy our game because endless possibilities endless replayability no i don't want endless replayability because it, everything is different all the time i want endless replayability because your game is so good that i want to play it again all right that's what replayability means to me not every time i play the level is different i don't care handcrafted everything tastes better the machine crafted garbage but this week's game of the week the game i feel is most deserving of your cash moolah it's actually pretty tough because there's there's not there's not much there's not much but i'm gonna give it to birthdays the beginning only because it's such a neat game i i i really i really don't want to say i don't really want to put a stamp of approval on it because i only gave it i believe a 6.5 and that means it's between okay and good so it's not a good game but it's better than an okay game it, it's a neat game. It's it's one of those games that really it engages your mind, but it's it's more shallow than it presents itself to be, and its presentation of itself makes it feel overwhelming. So it's 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 a tough it's a tough game to recommend. So I'm not necessarily recommending it. I'm just saying, out of all the games this week, Birthday is the beginning is probably the one that's most deserving of your money but you could probably skip this week maybe Ho hopefully hopefully i play another game that's on this list and my mind changes but we'll see we'll see thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to the channel the song used in this week's video is down in the description if you want to check it out share this video with your friends publishers developers send me codes stop the procedural generation garbage it's not a selling point all right it's not a it's not attractive to anyone that actually cares, right? Maybe it's attractive to the PC dorks that like to procedurally play generated solitaire hands that are different every time. Ooh, it, we, we didn't draw a three, a, a seven, and a queen this time. I don't care. I don't care that your levels are different all the time. I want, I want handcrafted goodness. I want care and love put into your games. I don't want them. I don't want them. I want it all or nothing at all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And of course, 
stay beautiful. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash superkengaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.